Here's how to make almost instant pumpkin pie pudding. It tastes like pumpkin pie, but you don't have to bake it or make a crust. It appeared on the Forks Over Knives website a very long time ago. I tweaked the recipe a little bit to even improve it. It's very easy to make. Pumpkin is generally available all year round, at least at my Costco, where it's only about a dollar a can for organic. And so you're also going to need some ripe bananas. And by ripe, I mean lots of spots. Now, these bananas are perfect, in my opinion, for eating when they have a little green on them. But if you're using them in recipes, you will want them as ripe as possible. So I'm just going to put them in the blender and I'm going to puree them into a liquid. Did you know you can make milk out of bananas? Yes, it's called banana milk. So if you ever run out of plant milk, make banana milk. So then I have a whole can of pumpkin. Be sure it's pumpkin, pure pumpkin with no other ingredients, not pumpkin pie filling that you can find in regular stores by Libby, although Libby does make pumpkin filling. So we're just going to add that to our blender. I love these cans because it doesn't require a can opener. These are pull tops. And I suppose you could use fresh pumpkin, but and you have to cook it. It's so easy to just use canned. And then we're going to add our date paste. And I'm going to blend again. That blended pretty easily. I want to keep it as thick as possible, but I always keep my favorite flavor of unsweetened non-dairy milk, in this case, it's vanilla almond milk, because if it doesn't blend, we want to add just a little bit, as little as possible, to get that vortex or get it to blend. If you're using the Vitamix, you have the tamper. And so then I'm going to add a little bit of gluten-free rolled oats, just gives it kind of a nice texture and thickness, and some chia seeds. I prefer the white. Now, the white aren't really all that white when you think about it, but they're a lot lighter than the dark. And I find the dark can often discolor things, especially if I'm using light colored things. It's fine in chocolate recipes, so I prefer the light. And then my seasonings, which are pumpkin pie spice. If you don't have any, you can make it out of cinnamon and nutmeg. There's plenty of recipes if you just Google it. And pure vanilla bean powder. And then we'll blend again. And if it doesn't blend easily, I'm just going to drizzle in a little bit of milk. That was about a quarter cup. You can always take your little spatula, give it a stir. That's the advantage of the Vitamix, though, is the tamper. You don't have to stop the blender to do that. The reason I like this machine, not necessarily better than the Vitamix, but as well, is because of the measuring lines on the side, which I can easily see. But you can see it's still really, really thick. And this will thicken even a little bit more as it cools. You could use this to fill a pie. I've never tried baking it, but I'm thinking like a, a raw crust made out of dates and oats or nuts and oats. So you can eat this as is, topped with your favorite non-dairy whipped cream. I make one out of pears. You can also make a cashew whipped cream, coconut whipped cream. It's great with fresh fruit on top, especially things like raspberries. But I like to do sometimes, so is just sprinkle, just because I think everything tastes better in purple. I sprinkle a few of the Penzi's Power of Love on it. And this is our delicious, easy to make, almost instant pumpkin pie pudding.